With Pro Tools HD 12.8, Avid introduced the most comprehensive Dolby Atmos integration available today. We've now added additional functionality to further refine the process of setting up, managing, and mixing in Dolby Atmos. Now all surround panners in Pro Tools feature a link function which allows binding the front and rear left-right positional controls together. This provides users with a more efficient way to place sound sources without having to manage the front and rear playlists separately. Linking is enabled by default and enables pan moves to be performed with just two knobs, the front and front rear parameters. And when the controls are unlinked, it is possible to pan from front to back diagonally. Pro Tools can establish communication directly with a Dolby Atmos renderer when enabled from the peripherals menu. The IO setup offers a new function which greatly simplifies the process of setting up a Pro Tools session composed of beds and objects based on the settings in the renderer. Now under the default Buses pop-up selector in the Bus tab of the IO setup window, there's a new option called Use Atmos Renderer. When selected, pressing default automatically creates the correct number of beds and objects to match the IO configuration of the renderer. If we take a look at the input page of the Dolby Atmos renderer, you can see we currently have a single 712 bed and music, dialogue, effects, and background objects, starting with music at object 11. Back in the I.O. setup window, if we press default with Use Atmos Renderer enabled, you can see that Pro Tools has created the necessary 712 bed, mapped them to objects, and even labeled the objects to match the naming in the renderer. This can save a ton of time spent manually defining buses to match the particular requirements of the Dolby Atmos project. The height control is an essential parameter of the Dolby Atmos format, allowing sound designers and mixers to creatively place sound elements directly above the audience. Now by right-clicking on the height mode control in the panner window, you can enable auto height overrides height automation, which uses the X and Y pan automation to automatically generate new height automation based on the available Dolby Atmos modes of ceiling, sphere, or wedge. When enabled, this allows mixers to experiment with different auto height modes during a mix when existing pan automation has already been written. It also allows mixers to take an existing 5.1 or 7.1 mix and create height information without having to rewrite all the existing automation. You can see from the automation playlists that this track contains front, rear, and front rear panning automation, but no height information. If we enable ceiling mode, you can see that now when the pan position travels just off the front screen, it hugs the ceiling. We can see the same behavior in the Dolby Atmos monitor window. To keep the automatically generated height information and print breakpoints to the playlist, under the Pro Tools automation menu, choose Coalesce Pan Guide Automation. Pro Tools HD continues to improve the workflow and efficiency of design, editorial, and mixing in Dolby Atmos.